What's up guys, welcome to your 10th Pi game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw lines. Now, in order to draw a line, you need a couple different parameters. You need a position of the first point, a position of the second point, and there's also an optional width parameter that you can have if you want. So let's go ahead and make those uh, as variables right now. So let's go ahead and uh, work with the color first. So set a color variable and you could equal to like 200 by 255 by 64. Hmm? Sounds pretty random. So now we need to have uh, position points. So position 1, uh, we'll set it equal to 20, 20. Have it uh, 20 over and 20 down. Position two, uh, let's make a variable for, for that. We'll set it equal to like 150, 143, whatever. So now we have two positions. This is going to be the starting point of the line, and this is going to be the ending point of the line. So we have a color and two positions. So let's go ahead and draw this. So let's go ahead and pi game draw line is the uh, function name. And of course, we want our basic screen, our color. And now you need to put the first position first. Probably could have figured that out. And your second position second. Now by default, it draws a line that's one pixel wide. As you can see, here's my first position right here. And here's my second position right here. But if you want, what you can go ahead and do is add a, let's see, one, two, three, four. You can add a fifth optional parameter. And this is the width of your line. So if we went ahead and typed something like eight, when he went ahead and did this and saved it, we now get a line that's eight pixels wide. So as you can see, that's how you can um, use that optional fifth parameter to change the width of your line. So that's your whip, real quick uh, tutorial on how to draw a line. Again, the parameters for this are screen, color, first position, second position, and this last one is optional width. Um, parameter. You don't need it, but you're probably going to use it a lot, so I thought I'd tell you guys. So again, that's your tutorial. Now that you know how to draw lines, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. What's up, guys? Welcome to your 11th, I believe, Pi Game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build a really cool um, application that's going to draw multiple lines using a mouse event. So it's a little different than draw line because draw line just draws one. But with draw lines, you can give it a bunch of different coordinates and it can draw lines in between those coordinates. So you can either type them in manually or you can supply them with clicking your mouse button. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. What we're going to do is first make an empty list called points and set it equal to this and this is going to store all the points both x and y axis so in order to provide it with points we need to generate an event to every time you click your mouse button down it adds a new point to that list and this is incredibly easy so go ahead and click if event type is exactly equal to mouse button down make sure I spell it right what you did if Every time you click the mouse button down, what we want to do is take that list called points, or whatever you named it, and we want to append, and remember, you learned this in your Python tutorials, this means add something to the list of points. What we want to add is the event positioning. Now the event positioning is the X and Y coordinates. So every time that we click this mouse button down, we want to take whatever those coordinates are and add it to our list of points. So now we have a list of points every time we click the mouse button. So now let's do something with that list. Right under your four, make sure you let me tighten this up a little bit. That's what she said. Right under your four, what we want to do is make a simple if statement. If the length, and remember length is a built-in attribute of every list, if the length of points is greater than one, and this is only because we need it to be two or more. You can't draw a line if you only have one point. That doesn't even make sense. You need at least two points to draw a line. So if the length of points is greater than one, then what do we want to do? Well, what we want to do is pi game, and I think you know what's coming here. Draw 
lines, remember lines is plural, screen, color, and remember I made my color variable up here. I forgot what it was, but anyways. False. And what false means is whenever you draw um, two or more lines, if it's if it's true, it'll automatically create a line connecting those two points. If it's false, then it doesn't automatically create a line. So this is why you want a false. Um, after this tutorial, after you're done with this, go ahead and turn it to true and see what happens. And then you need your list of points. And again, you could type these in manually, um, one after another. But we're going to gen generate a list dynamically using this. So it's going to supply it for us. And our, the more points we click, the list is going to keep growing and growing. And of course, it takes an optional parameter, which is the width of the line. I'm going to make mine like mm, five or something so you can see it easy. So now let's go ahead and uh, save this. Everything looks like it's good to go. And run it. Hopefully, I don't have any errors. And let me show you guys how this works. Go ahead and click one. Nothing pops up because remember, it's greater than one. Click again and again and bam. Look at that. Every one of these points generates a list. I mean, generates um, another item on your list. And as that list grows, it continues to go from one point to another, to another, to another. And the more points you click, your list keeps growing and you supply it with more and more coordinates. So that is why you are able to add this cool program of Line Drawing 2000. And I just said 2000 because it sounded cool. That's the name of it. So again, let me tell you guys how this works one more time. Color, you make an empty list of points because list is one of the parameters because you need to give it a bunch of points in order so it knows what to draw. Then you're right, all right, every time I click the mouse button down, get the coordinates of wherever I click that mouse button and add it to the list called points. If the length of that list is greater than one, then what I want you to do is draw a line from the point to the previous point and that is supplied in this parameter right here and this is just the optional width so that's that for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed um, once you're a pro at drawing points you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial